This is just a window, three and a half feet wide, six and a half feet tall. It sits four stories up and has a beautiful, albeit distant view of home plate at Camden Yards. Yet this ordinary window is made of shatterproof glass. And it's one of 63 windows on the B&O warehouse that are this way, supposedly unbreakable and possibly unreachable. Well, some aren't, on paper at least. Let's find out today what it would take to not just hit a window at Camden Yards, but to shatter one into shards of deadly glass. The exact distance needed to shatter a window at Camden Yards is coming up right after this. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. If you want to bag more than leaves this fall, you better start with mowing your lawn. What the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about your personal grooming. And you know that partners nowadays prefer you keep your lawn in order. That's why Manscaped came up with the Performance Package 4.0 bundle, which features the Lawnmower 4.0 with patented skin safe technology, a light travel lock, and 7,000 RPMs of pube trimming power. It also includes Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Toning Spray, and the best part, it comes with two free gifts, a shed travel bag, and my favorite, the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Cooling Boxer Briefs. These bad boys fit you snug and keep things cool down there while fighting awful things like moisture. Yeah, I said it. So after this video, head on over to manscaped.com forward slash five dash points and get 20% off and free shipping. Again, that's manscaped.com forward slash five dash points for 20% off and free shipping, manscaped.com. Part one, why is the glass even shatterproof to begin with? As I have covered before, the B&O warehouse was built in 1904. However, in 1992, when the Orioles set up shop behind it, the building received major upgrades both inside and out. A big part of that upgrade was installing a sheet of clear plastic to prevent the glass windows from shattering. Sounds kind of absurd today as not a one of them has been directly hit by a fly ball during a game. But the architects who designed Camden Yards didn't want to take any chances. Which is a smart move considering that broken glass falling from a four-story window could be potentially lethal. Shatterproofing wasn't initially part of the plan, but I'm sure some insurance adjuster had a nightmare of a fan getting impaled by shards of glass, and so the film was installed. But as you'll see, for a lot of the windows, it was a giant waste of money. Part 2. The Targets 63 of the warehouse's 429 windows on the ballpark side of the building have the special coating. According to a 1992 article, the architects went four stories up and also protected any windows on the ground level, which include ticket offices and vendors. So that leaves us with two sets of targets. Set one is the shatterproof windows, some of which can possibly be hit by a batted ball. Set two are the unprotected windows, those above the third row up. We'll also talk about what it would take to hit them. It's about to get fun. Part three, we're going the distance. You might recall a previous video where I said the reason the warehouse hasn't been hit by a batted ball, period, is because it's really far away. But I never gave the true measurement for how far a ball actually needs to go versus the linear measurement from home plate. If we take measurements from above, the warehouse is only 430 feet away down the line but the building is actually 25 feet above home plate and 110 feet beyond the wall. That additional elevation changes things considerably. The path of the ball must intersect with the warehouse. And considering balls are losing their momentum in a downward arc, launch angle plays a factor. So the real distance just to hit the warehouse down the line in fair territory is more like 460 feet, an additional 30 feet of clout. That warehouse is one tricky beast. Now let's start with the easiest shatterproof window in fair ground. Yes, these others are possible, but if nobody is trotting around the bases after hitting glass that doesn't even break, then I don't wanna live in that world. The window is two stories up, about 20 feet off the ground, just over the awning. For the ball, just to hit the glass and startle an employee who might be commenting on one of my YouTube videos, a batter would have to hit a ball close to 470 feet. 
Keep in mind, this would take a tremendous amount of things to go right, the right launch angle, distance, and being right down the line. But it's possible. As we get further and further out into the alley, well, these numbers start to get ridiculous. Here are my best guesses. which leads me back to examples I showed in the previous video of monster home runs. Would this have hit a window? Maybe. However, using the home run data, we can start eliminating these windows as candidates for ever getting hit. As for the second and third rows, forget about it. To hit a second row window right down the line, that would take a 530 foot shot. Okay humanly possible, but no. Third row up, not possible. 605 feet. Nobody has ever hit a ball 605 feet, ever. So most of the second row and all of the third row, no need for the coating. Sorry, no way. Yes, the shatterproof glass on the entire third row is a waste of money, as are a lot of these. But for poops and giggles, let's see what it would take to actually break one of the shatterable windows. Yeah, that's right, the fourth row. My God, by my estimation, it would take a 690 foot blast and that's the closest shatterable window. You'd have more luck firing a ball out of an actual cannon than it ever coming off the bat of a real human being. No, this isn't possible, not even close. But there are a few things I forgot to mention. One little thing I left out until now, it's possible for the ball to bounce on Utah Street and hit the shatterproof glass. In fact, it happened in 2012 when Josh Hamilton, who was on an absolute tear at the time, hit one that did just that. Allegedly, it impacted the window and didn't break it as the coating did as intended. Bouncing would reduce a significant amount of momentum on the ball and make it less impactful, but still, this does justify the use of the shatterproofing on the first row at least. So Baltimore Orioles, if you are watching, you aren't insane and you don't suck. I'm, I'm sorry I said that. Let's do lunch sometime. In conclusion, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And now, if you ever go to an Orioles game, you can relax and not worry about shattered glass raining down on your head from above by a moonshot by Kyle Schwarber or any left-handed batter. After all, they're just windows. Humble, shatterproof windows. Until next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting films on sports. And I'm not an animator, but I did draw these diagrams myself, so please show me some love there as my graphic design degree is actually being put to good use. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to my next video.